One rising trend in news today is the value of multimedia journalists. University of Arkansas journalism professor and former reporter Tiffany King shares her experiences in the field. I was a morning show anchor and producer, so I had to be at the station at about 3 o'clock in the morning, and I would produce a 30-minute newscast at that point, and then I would anchor it myself, and many times I would have to report after that, so it was a long day. But how does that compare to today? 4029 news reporter LaKyra Banks says what her job is like. I'm a morning reporter, so I come in at 3 a.m. We do live shots, live shots from 4.30 to 7.30. After that, I hop on my morning editorial meeting at about 9 a.m., and I get my assignment for the day, and normally that's what I'm going to be reporting on for the next day. Reporters feel the negative effects of industry conditions. Covering sensitive stories can contribute to a declining mental health. Years and years and years ago, they'd be like, go knock on the door, this person's family just died, like, go knock, you have to get an interview, like. We're talking murders, we're talking uh, fatal car accidents, we're talking children who've been killed or molested. And high expectations can lead to a potentially toxic work environment, so toxic that they might leave the industry altogether. When I first started, because it was so new, I kind of went into a depression a little bit. I doubted my capabilities and I was just like, I don't know if I'm as good of a journalist to be able to handle these things. That was why people probably didn't stay, not only in the business, but stayed dedicated to one news station because they did not feel that value. However, younger generations are creating change. Nobody cared about your mental health. Nobody cared about burnout. Nobody cared about the, the ramifications of seeing what you're seeing every day and reporting on the really heavy things. Now, I feel like it's a lot different and that makes me very happy. There's so many new people or younger generations getting into news and it's kind of turning news a little bit because we know how to navigate and kind of draw in younger audiences. But ultimately, Listening to new ideas can lead the industry in a positive direction. We need great journalists, and if we have newsrooms that are toxic or they're burning out the reporters quickly and not paying attention, then we're not going to get the right people in those positions. But not even just the younger people. You need a diverse group of people in your newsroom. We each can bring so many different things to the table. You have to listen to fresh ideas to appeal to fresh audiences.